In this lesson, you will learn about the area of a triangle. Remember, area is how many of the small squares will fit inside of a figure. So if we have a triangle, such as this one, we are going to find how many small squares would fit in here. But we can't really draw squares inside of a triangle very easily. So what we can do is we can think of this as half of a rectangle. So if this triangle right here has one side, two square units, and the other side is, sorry, not two square units, just two units, and the other side is six units, we can find the area of this rectangle and then split it in half to find the area of just this triangle. Okay, So to find the area of the rectangle, we take the length times the width. So the area in this case would be, we can use 6 as the length times 2 the width. The area of the entire rectangle is 12 units. But we don't want this whole rectangle, we only want this triangle. So this triangle is half of that. So if we take our 12 and we divide it by 2 and get two equal parts, the area of just this part is 12 divided by 2 is 6 units. We don't know if they're feet or inches squared. Okay, so that gives us just this area of that triangle. If we were to try another one, let's try this one. This is, we'll call that 3 meters and 3 meters. This is a triangle. We can, however, find the area of a rectangle that would be created by two of these triangles. If I were to flip that over right there, it would be the same shape, same size, which creates this rectangle. So I'm going to find the area of the rectangle first and then split it in half to find just the area of this triangle. The area of the rectangle is length times width. In this case, the length and the width are the same, so I do three times three and the area is 9. But that's the area of the whole rectangle, or in this case, the whole square. I only want this half, this half of the rectangle, which is a triangle. So I'm going to do 9 divided by 2. Well, if I divide 9 by 2, I get 4 holes and 1 half of a meter, and it's squared or square meters. Let's try another one. This one's a little bit more tricky. This case, we call this the height of a triangle. We're going to call that four, we'll call it four feet. And down here is the base, and we're going to have a base of five feet. So in this case, there's not a right angle like we had in these two. So I'm going to create my rectangle like this. Still a rectangle. I have a length, well, a length of five. I also have this width. This width is four feet. I can slide that four feet right over here if I want. So this entire rectangle has a length of five and a width of four. So I'm going to find the area of the rectangle first. Five times four. Five times four is 20. So this whole rectangle has an area of 20 square feet. But I don't want the rectangle. I only want this triangle. Well, This triangle is exactly half of this rectangle. This piece here, if I were to flip it down, would fit right in here. This piece, if I were to flip it down, would fit right in here. So this is double what I need. So I'm going to take the area of this whole rectangle and divide it in half, or divide it by 2. And 20 divided by 2 is 10. My label is feet, and it's area, so we're finding square feet. So the area of this, tri this triangle is 10 square feet. That brings us to the end of our lesson on the area of triangles.